finally, finally, it's about damn time Wonder Woman gets her own movie. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I am here to review Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman is directed by Patty Jenkins and the film stars Gal Gadot, Chris Pine, Danny Huston, and Robin Wright. So Wonder Woman tells the origin story of Wonder Woman. She is a trained warrior and she is the princess of the Amazons. And then when a plane crashes, Diana bumps into this young man named Steve Trevor. And Steve Trevor tells her all about the outside world, how there's war going on, and how the outside world is not a very good place really a lot of bad stuff is happening and Wonder Woman is all like I can't take this I can't let this happen so Wonder Woman and Steve Trevor go to the outside world or London so that way Wonder Woman could go ahead and hopefully stop this war so Wonder Woman is a film I was really really excited for because personally besides Suicide Squad which was eh, I've been a fan, honestly, of the DC Extended Universe. I love Man of Steel, and I liked Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice personally. And Wonder Woman, I was just hoping, would be at least a solid movie because the first Wonder Woman a movie we're getting, and we have Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot. I always go back and forth when I, when I mention her name. She killed it in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, so I really wanted to see uh, how she can do with her own solo movie, and I really just wanted this to be another hit from the DC Extended Universe, and that's what Wonder Woman is. It is another hit from the DC Extended Universe. Wonder Woman kicks some serious ass. Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, I have to say it, just straight off the bat, she is Wonder Woman. She is this character. She embodies this character. Not only uh, physical wise, but acting wise. She really was really great. She was really believable. And I thought she was very believable when she would provide a lot of emotion to her character. Wonder Woman, the way she shows how naive Wonder Woman can be because she's pretty much blind of how the outside world works and when you see Wonder Woman discovering all of this for the first time it's executed very well and that's thanks to how good Gal Gadot is. She is incredible as Wonder Woman. Seriously, Gal Gadot, she deserves all the credit in the world for really bringing this character to life and for this being her leading role, she did a great job of carrying this movie. Chris Pine is also really great as Steve Trevor. I thought he did a very great job with his character. I thought his character was actually very funny. He definitely has the most comedic bits. Uh, Wonder Woman definitely has her comedic bits too, but out of everyone, he definitely adds the most comedic bits. But he's not just there to be the guy that adds comedy, but you know, his chemistry with Wonder Woman was very well done. And that's another thing I also have to just bring up. The chemistry between Steve Trevor and Diana Prince is very believable. It doesn't feel shoehorned. It didn't feel out of place how the movie was able to execute their relationship. It all came off very naturally, especially since the two of them can see where each other is coming from. You're getting two different perspectives. One who is aware of the outside world, while the other one really is not aware that there is a world where war is going on. Plus the fact that since she has lived in a world where she's been nothing but really women, she's new to men. Like Steve Trevor is the first man that Diana Prince has encountered. I really liked all of that stuff. I thought their chemistry was really great. And and there's a lot of comedy that goes on because of their chemistry and when Diana Prince is learning about the outside world like once they arrive in London all those comedic bits with her learning about like how to interact with people 
how to dress and it honestly just made for some very great comedy and the comedy is used when it's necessary they don't try to overdo the comedy at least in my opinion at least they don't try to overdo the comedy the comedy is there when it's necessary when the movie needs to be fun and when the movie needs to be more comedic it's used at the most necessary times, but when the movie wants to be more serious, more dramatic, more emotional, particularly in the final act when you get more emotional, it really works. It, it doesn't feel out of place. I think Patty Jenkins, who I will bring up right now regarding her direction, how she was able to balance being this fun movie but also being this serious movie when it needs to be. She was able to find that balance and I have to give her a lot of credit for really finding that balance with this film. By far, as far as Patty Jenkins' direction goes, she honestly did a terrific job. How she was able to bring this world to life. Like, when you're with the Amazons in the first act of the film, that was all really cool and the way she was able to direct those bits was honestly very interesting. I already I already felt like I was in this world from the very first frame. She really had a great understanding of this world and she had a very great understanding of Wonder Woman for sure. She really brought what Wonder Woman is all about. She's very hopeful. She is very caring. She wants to make sure that nobody gets harmed or killed. Someone else I also have to bring up is Robin Wright. I thought she did a really great job and although she doesn't have as much screen time for the screen time that she does have I honestly love this character this character was so interesting all the bits with her and Diana I just found to be so compelling and all the other Amazons I honestly thought were very interesting they don't have that much screen time really and that's just because you know of Diana having to leave their world to go to the outside world where war is happening but those scenes you do get with them were honestly very engaging and then when we get to see diana as a little girl um i thought that was very cool and i did like what wonder woman had to bring up like it's honestly a movie that makes you think it shows you that this world is not all sunshine and rainbows and you know when diana starts to realize that you really sympathize for her because of what she's feeling, but you also sympathize for the people. And it honestly does a great job of showing that even though there's a lot of ugly in this world, does not mean there's some good. There is some good in this world, and we have to hold on to that hope even with everything that's going on, I mean, us as a society, I think we can kind of relate right now considering what's happening right now in our world, which I will not be bringing up obviously, but we can, we as a society, I feel can kind of relate to that, but we still try to find the good even with what's happening. And Wonder Woman really made me think a lot in terms of that. The action sequences of Wonder Woman are also spectacular. It's not an action packed movie. You don't get a lot of action in this film but when you do get the action sequences it is honestly very intense you you're still at the edge of your seat the no man's land sequence and wonder woman is very epic it screams epic but it's also very powerful too that's something that really impressed me wonder woman can be this intense edge of your seat movie but it could also be this really powerful movie and of course when we get to the final act the ultimate climax which i would say is the most action heavy in this entire film and some people could probably be bothered by that just because this movie is it's pretty much a slow burner honestly like it's more focused on characters it's more focused on the relationship between diana and uh steve trevor there is a lot of slow time for sure here in wonder woman but when you do get to the climax which is very action heavy for sure it's not really a problem with me because even with all that there was some emotion uh well not some there's a lot of emotion that was actually in the climax of the film and i'm not gonna lie i actually found my i actually got very emotional in the climax like it's some of the most powerful stuff i've seen the comic book movie in general i just thought how they handled the climax and how they ended the movie 
how they ended the movie especially I have to give a lot of credit to Patty Jenkins and the writers too the writers for writing the dialogue and making the dialogue feel natural it doesn't feel forced in any way at least in my point of view it all comes off very natural Wonder Woman as a whole is just a very natural movie and I have to comment on the score too because so far with these DC movies the scores really are epic and Wonder Woman is no different. The score here is honestly just so captivating and it, flow, and it flows very well for every sequence that happens to play the score. It's epic, it's emotional, it just really flows well with the film and it never fell out of place for me. Now, the only problems I did find with Wonder Woman, however, is that there are these two antagonists and they're really cartoony antagonists not just that but they don't really fit what the tone of the movie is they feel incredibly out of place and they're just your one-dimensional I want to rule the world kind of antagonist I really didn't think there was anything more to these two antagonists that we follow for the majority of the film also in the third act when we find out who the real villain of this movie is like when we see the actual reveal I'm not gonna lie, I found that predictable. I saw that coming personally. Pretty much since the beginning of the movie, I was able to call, okay, this is who this villain is gonna be. And once the movie does reveal that by the third act, I honestly did go, yep, I saw that coming. And when it comes to this villain in the third act, I personally did not care for him. That's definitely one of the weaknesses of Wonder Woman. None of the villains here are really all that compelling. There are times where the visual effects are just a little bit noticeable, not too noticeable, but just a little bit noticeable. And the final problem I did have with Wonder Woman personally is the pacing. Most of the movie for sure is well paced, but there are some times where I did feel the pacing, like it's very slow in some moments. And I thought some scenes went on for too long and I thought the editor could just trim down that scene just so it doesn't feel like it's dragging as much. There are definitely some moments where I'm like, okay, this is going on for a little too long now. Let's pick up the pace. Overall, Wonder Woman is a solid superhero movie. I really enjoyed this movie. I thought the performances were really great from everyone. Maybe besides the villains, I thought everyone else did a really great job with their performances. It's a, be it's a beautifully directed movie from Patty Jenkins. The writing is really solid from the writers themselves. I thought the cinematography looked absolutely good gorgeous definitely some of the best cinematography i've seen this year without a doubt the score is epic but emotional at the same time the movie lets you have fun but also lets you you know really take this movie seriously and really feel for the characters when needed it just has a very great balance the comedy is there when it's necessary and wonder woman while i don't necessarily think it's one of the best superhero movies ever i do think as a whole it's a movie i really enjoyed it's a good solid superhero movie and i'm gonna give wonder woman three out of four stars so you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Wonder Woman and what's your favorite movie in the DC Extended Universe so far now that we have four movies in this universe. I'd say so far, Man of Steel is still my favorite in this universe, but Batman v Superman, Wonder Woman, that doesn't take away the fact that I still think those are solid movies, but Man of Steel still takes the cake for me. So everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!